Pablo teaches uh, in uh, Roehampton, and uh, I've been working with him for ages, and he's an enthusiastic person. It's a joy to work with, always reactive, and, uh, and he's a filmmaker as well, and he wrote books about live subtitling, but he, you're not responsible here today. But anyway, it's going very well. <laughs> um, well, thank you very much for, the, for inviting me um, to the conference and also to take part in the project, which has been very rewarding. Um, the aim of the material was to convey uh, the basics of film literacy to, to students, to secondary school students. Uh, so we divided the topics, as you can see them on the screen. Um, the main challenge for us was to um, adapt the materials to the radio, um, because this is um, materials about film language, which have audiovisual content, and then we're, we're thinking about how to convey that acoustically, so only through audio. But uh, what we found out later was that the teachers got, were engaged in, in the um, delivery of the material in different ways. So some, some teachers, for example, were supporting the uh, radio clips with some images. And what we did is for every one of those sections, we created not only the content for the radio clips that was then translated into different languages, but also we supported uh, the teachers' unit, which had links and different activities, as well as questions, so that it could be um, used by the teachers uh, in a more interactive way with the students. Um, so that was the main challenge for us, and also to adapt the content to the age, the particular age of the students, which at the beginning we didn't get quite right when we were preparing it, and then it was more suited towards the end. Yeah, it, it was a different task because uh, I wanted to have these clips available for everyone as well, so t in order to broadcast uh, them on the radio, but at the same time we had to create content that was suitable for, for 14 years old, so... Exactly. Well, I think we managed to, to find Yeah, in the end it worked well. And also yeah. what we wanted is to for the students to start thinking about film first as a place for discussion, which was quite interesting when some of the students were thinking about, were actually saying that they had never discussed film in that from that point of view. So we talked about film as a place for discussion. Um, and also we focused on something that researchers are looking at uh, lately, which is the they are concerned about the um, decrease in attention span in students, particularly that age, and particularly with the use of the, of the internet. So we introduced some content on, on that as well. Um, and uh, finally, we looked at film as a language. In this case, the first part of the project, we looked at film as a language to be understood, uh, both visual and, um, and acoustic, but we would like to maybe look into the idea of film literacy, not just as understanding the language, but to be able to speak it that is to be able to produce film, which is something that I think could be an interesting addition for a potential follow-up to, to the project. Okay, thank you, Pablo. Thank you.